Good morning, good evening. Welcome to the second day of class. For those of you who are just adding, um, it's still kind of, you know, the first week. So people are adding, dropping, and trying to figure out the semester. So we're taking uh, this week's slope before we shift gears and start with our projects. Um, those images were from the film Baraka. So that's going to be our second assignment. Um, that I will be going over today. So today this lecture we're going to keep it short and sweet as we settle into the semester. I'm going to be going over the materials that will be due uh, on Tuesday. You should have your materials ready to go on Tuesday and also um, our, our next assignment which is um, reviewing a film to try to think about um, other ways of experiencing the world. And so I'm going to go ahead and share the screen real quick. Here we are on um, the home page. Go ahead and go to the modules, and you're going to go ahead and find um, materials list and the assignments. Let's go over the assignments since that's what we just went, um, we just saw right now. It's worth 15 points. It's a written assignment, um, but not really. It's it's an assignment so that you get to see this film and uh, just respond with two paragraphs of your just um, your analyze it or respond to it um, and just be honest with it see see what you what you feel what you perceive um, it's a movie with with um, with a lot of diverse uh, perspectives um, the purpose of this film is to see how other cultures feel, express, and function. Uh, think about art as the use of fabric through fashion, ritual through dance, uh, temples and statues, sculpture, religion, a storytelling, and theater. Look at technology, landscapes, and how different societies participate in their realities in completely different forms. And so I want to think for a little bit, uh, for us to think about art as something um, expansive, right? Let's not think about art as something that hangs in the gallery or in a museum. Uh, let's not think about art that is something that is a commodity that is sold, uh, that has monetary value. Let's not think about art as even individual expression for right now, right? Let's think about art as a larger culture, a larger manifestation of society, um, expressing their ideas, um, their, their goals, their ambitions, um, they, the way different societies express their dead, how they celebrate, how they fight. We're going to think about art as everything that humans do to, to either celebrate or contemplate who we are. In this way, we can start thinking about our own art in, in that really expansive way, um, that it's, it's larger than ourselves. Um, and so this film helps us kind of travel through space, through different uh, cultures, different ritualistic behaviors, and hopefully we're able to see it through an outside lens. Um, and question our own value systems in a hyper-capitalist society, a heavily 
a society with technology, a society uh, without universal health care. Um, think about uh, the way different societies organize themselves. And so sometimes here in the United States, we uh, uh, place ourselves in a bubble and we forget that there's other ways of, of doing things and of being. Learn how to observe the world without your own personal lens. Pretend that you are traveling the galaxy and happen to land in this strange and extraordinary planet. So when we look through at the world through the eyes of other people, we do it through their art. And so when you're going to make your art, you are inviting the audience to see the world the way you see it, to see the world you experience it. Sometimes it's a collective expression, like you're making a statement about maybe your faith. You're making a statement about your fears, anxieties. You're making a statement about your love, about your hate. Um, you're making a statement of just about beauty um, or just about being alive. Nonetheless, you are inviting the audience to see the world through, through your work. Um, and so that's what drawing is, it's kind of like an, an invitation to see the world through your eyes. We can experience the world and build empathy, understanding and other ways of thinking through a visual language. Um, and so one of the things about looking at the world through other people's eyes is that it doesn't necessarily um, put your own value systems in danger, right? It's not a threat to your religious beliefs. It's not a threat to your way of living, a way of thinking. A lot of people think, um, respond to, uh, to having empathy for other ways of thinking that that somehow puts your value systems in jeopardy. Um, so let's look at this film like if we were aliens uh, looking into the planet. You're going to write a paragraph of 500 words or more, two, three paragraphs, um, and submit it uh, through a Word document or a PDF. You're going to put your name, uh, your class uh, time, not time, but your class number code. And here's the a free link for you to check out the film. And so it's a long film. Chill out, relax. Um, you know, make some snacks. We're in lockdown. It's not like we got other pressing things to do, I think, for a lot of us. Any questions, put it in the comments. All right. Another thing I wanted to talk about is like if you watch this whole lecture, leave um, three comments about uh, or questions about this lecture so you can get um, credit for attending the talk. Let's go back to modules. We're going to go into materials. You can go ahead and print this out. Um, wait a minute. I'm over on class. Why don't you guys tell me? It's the same assignment, though. Materials. I don't know. A lot of folks are still waiting for their financial aid check. A lot of people are hustling out there for some extra cash. So I highlighted uh, what you need to start and then the other stuff we can kind of uh, wait for a little bit longer. Um, newsprint 18 by 24, white drawing pad 14 by 17, sketchbook pad. Um, something like this. It has these uh, rings in order for us to be able to take good pictures of them, of your assignments. Um, I like to have sketchbooks that don't have this ring that feel more like a, a solid book. Where's my sketchbook set? Just feels more like a, a journal, a nice journal that you can record. We're going to be using this sketchbook for the majority of our assignments. Uh, these are going to be like our jumping jacks, our exercises, our scales, you know, when we uh, warm up the guitar. Um, we're going to be warming up our wrist, our hand, um, every week 
And so uh, the only way for me to know that we're actually exercising our eye-hand coordination that drawing requires, then you're going to have to uh, take a picture of it and um, submit it that way. Um, so hopefully we get through the whole thing. Uh, you can go ahead and print this list, and if you go to Allard's uh, Art Supply, you just hand it to one of the folks there. They're very helpful. They'll walk around with you um, getting the stuff. If you uh, have a little bit of cash flow, um, have fun. Um, buy different kinds of pens. Um, it's not in here, but I got this nice set of different tips. Um, it's pretty pricey, but I was uh, I was walking around with uh, the school account, so I'm like, I might get that. Um, different pens and inks and stuff like that, but this is what's mandatory right here. Um, if you are uh, a little bit low on cash, what's next? Charcoal pencils, soft, hard, and and uh, medium. They sell these uh, packs at uh, Michael's, but you can also get them individually. You just need three. Um, these are my favorite for some reason. Um, there's a soft, the medium, and the hard, so we're going to explore what they all do. It's just different levels of compression. Drawing graphite pencils. There's different kinds, but there's uh, you know there's this really um, different uh, lead quality for the different kinds of pencils. Um, you'll learn how to appreciate them. Uh, erasers. There's different kinds of erasers. We're gonna primarily work with this uh, gray gum type of eraser. I'm gonna be doing some. Um, demonstrations but this is really cool because you just kind of tap on it and it just peels uh, the, the charcoal and the mark out so um, the erasers are beautiful ways to to make marks and so we'll be drawing with the eraser as well and then there's um, these little white ones, little brown ones. <laughs> what else do we got got to get some paint uh, painter's tape. We saw painter's tape. The painter's tape's not so sticky, so when you peel it off, it doesn't pull the whole wall off or the whole paper or your whole drawing off. Um, two packs of uh, vine charcoal sticks. Need two packs. We have these nice little. Uh, really compressed charcoal. These are a lot of fun as well. Um, let me just show you what I have. You'll, you'll present the, the, the list. Um, we have this nice little ink pen ink set uh, with all these different tips that do different things on your paper. Uh, remember the beginning uh, three quarters of the semester we're just going to be exercising um, a lot uh, and while writing on a sketchbook we're going to be generating content stories and trying to explore what it is you like to draw right i mean what what motivates you uh, these are the pieces of charcoal that you drag around the paper make really cool marks and then you got your little ink this is the um speedball ink so we're going to use these um, these pens to dip into the ink. It's always fun to come back from the art store, especially when you got paid. If you uh, are an art major, you're probably going to need one of these nice little boxes. Um, I've had this one for a long time. Uh, they last quite a long time and um, you could put all your stuff in there when you're ready to go out and do some some still life drawings, some nature drawings. Um, we have some of these uh, drying tips. Uh, this is a good way 
these act like your finger when your fingers are a little bit um, clumsy like mine you can get nice uh, nice uh, shading with these things these are one of my favorite drawing tools a lot of cool stuff in here a little sharpener I use the knife um, I can control the kind of tip that I want the sharpener is pretty standard it doesn't give you different options there's these really cool um sorry about the camera quality um conte drawing pieces Got a bunch of acrylic paint um i can't wait um, what happened was that a lot of folks signed up for drawing class. I normally teach sculpture. Um, my work is uh, a lot of uh, murals and sculpture and uh, collaborations with communities. I do a lot of film and performance. But um, I majored in painting and drawing, and so I still draw a lot. And so when uh, they offered to teach this class, I was like, for sure. Um, so it's exciting to get back. Um, somebody asked about large scale drawing. Um, for the final project, that's going to be awesome. Um, they sell really nice, fine, large sheets of paper at, um, at Allard's. Um, Prismacolor. Again, if you got a little bit of extra money good laying around, go ahead and buy the whole set. If you are uh, strapped down a little bit, buy like four colors. Um, I would say a little bit of earth tones. Um, like a, a nice, a nice brown, and then maybe the primary colors. Um, yeah, that's on your list. You have the the fat, thick scrubber. I really should have learned the names of these things, right? I do know them. Got your ruler. This ruler has a nice little metal tip. Uh, they also got these uh, these uh, plastic and metal ones. Uh, the wooden is the cheapest one. All right. Um, any questions about the materials? Please put comments down. I'm here all week checking on your comment comments. Um, um, go ahead and comment on the lecture. You'll you'll get um, attendance credit and at the same time you can see uh, other students uh, questions uh, they might be answering their questions all right so watch the film and uh, turn in that assignments and we'll see you on Tuesday looking forward to this class peace